So it happens to all of us. You get a brand new PC and it's fast, it's snappy and it's the best thing ever. And then just a few months pass and it's starting to slow down, gets a little bit sluggish and you're thinking, what has happened to my PC? Well, today I'm going to be giving you five tips that you can do to your PC to help improve the overall performance of your PC. Some of them are great to do straight away as soon as you boot up your PC for the first time and others are just great to keep in mind for as your PC ages. So I'm gonna get straight into this now, but if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button for me first, that'd really help me out. It really does help smaller channels out and it just helps more people see the videos. So a lot of these tips are actually from my TikTok. I usually post around two to three times a week over there. So if you want all of the PC tips that you can ever need, head over there after that video. I'll have the link down below. But let's start with number one. So we're on the PC now and let's kick it off with number one. So this is actually one that you can do straight away when you boot up your PC for the first time. So let me show you what I'm talking about and then we'll talk about why you might want to do this. So from your desktop, go to the start menu and type in control panel. Then go to hardware and sound and then power options. Now you've got three options here. The two that you're going to want to take a look at are high performance and balanced. For the majority of you out there, go for high performance. The only major reason that I would go for balanced is if you're on a laptop and you're concerned about your battery usage. High performance will use a lot more battery, so your battery will go down quicker. But if you're on a PC, it's high performance all the way. Either way, if you're looking at getting the most out of your PC or laptop, make sure that you're at least not using the power saver plan. Okay, so next on the list is number two. We're going to want to come down to the start menu again and type in background apps. Now, this is a list of apps that will be allowed to run in the background when you turn on your PC. Now obviously the more apps and programs that you've got running in the background on your PC, the more your CPU will need to be doing all at once. So this will use up more CPU processing power and more system memory from your RAM, which could take performance away from what you really want that processing power to be going to. My recommendation is go down the list and turn everything off. From there, go back up to the list and only turn on what you actually use on the daily. Now remember, turning these off doesn't mean that you can never use them again. It just means that they'll only require processing power and run in the background when you actually open it up. So be a bit strict with yourself and really try to limit the amount that you turn back on. So number three is quite similar to the last one. To do this, we're going to want to open the task manager. To do this, you can right click the taskbar and click task manager, or you can do control, shift and escape. Once this is open, come to the tabs up at the top and click on start up. This is a list of programs that will open up every single time you turn on your PC. So if you've been having problems like your PC being super sluggish when you first turn it on, or when you first turn on your PC it takes ages to load up a program, this might be able to fix that problem for you. Obviously when you first turn on your PC, if you've got loads of things opening up all at once, your CPU processing power is spread out across all of those different programs trying to open them all up at once. So the less things you've got opening up when you first turn on your PC, the better. Now there's a few things in here that you're going to want to leave turned on, such as Windows Defender. So there's a lot of antivirus stuff and things in here that you might want to just leave turned on. So don't turn everything off like in the last one. So if it's a program that you actually recognize, maybe like Steam or something, you can right click it and click disable. Again, this doesn't mean that you can't use them ever again. It just means that they'll only use CPU processing power and run in the background when you open them up. Right, so we're flying through these now and number four is something that you should keep in mind as your system ages. You may want to do this every few months. So to do this one on our keyboard, we're going to want to push Windows and R and a little box will pop up on your screen. Type in this box, percent temp percent. Now, these are all the temporary files that programs create on your PC. And by that I mean when something updates or you install something new for the first time on your PC, a file is created to help that program install or update. And that's the only purpose. Once they've updated or installed or anything like that, the file's basically useless and it just sits there on your PC taking up storage. Especially if you've got a hard drive, clearing up storage is a great and easy way to help speed up your PC. So you can actually click select all and delete all of these. The less stuff you've got on your hard drive means the less the needle needs to move around the hard drive to write your data when you actually need it. I guess a kind of bonus tip of 4.5 before we move on to the final tip would just be to check all of your files for things that you no longer need. Doing a little clean up of your drives every few months is a great way to keep your PC with that new PC feeling. I did this recently and I found a load of things on my PC that I haven't been using. I even found the Modern Warfare beta from 2019, which is like two years old and I haven't touched it since that beta weekend like two years ago. Doing this is a great way to one, free up storage on your PC and two, maybe even improve the speed of it. Okay, so to wrap this one up, we've got number five and this is a great thing to do if you've got maybe a lower end GPU. So this one might not be applicable to all of you. So to do this one, we're going to want to go to the start menu and type in graphics settings and then turn off hardware accelerated GPU 
scheduling. Basically, if this is on, some of the processes that your CPU would usually do move to your GPU, which if you've got a lower end GPU, you don't really want because you want all of your GPU's processing power to be going towards your gaming or whatever. So depending on your system, you may or may not want to do this one. Okay, so there we have my top five tips to help make your PC just a little bit faster. I hope you found the video useful. And if you did, maybe even hit that like button and maybe consider subscribing. If you've just got your PC and you're looking for some great apps to download on your PC, then I recommend heading over to this video over here and check it out. There's some really great apps that I really think everyone should have on the PC in this video. But that's about it though. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.